All right, hello guys, Dinner Fried Interstate today, and here today, and well, I found out that there's no such thing as February 30th. It's February 29th, which means end of season, end of end of this season, guys. So here we go. We're hit rank 15. Guardians chest. Give me them goodies. Lesser Onyx Spellstone. Nice. Okay, decent pull. Decent pull. March season, novice engineer. Whoa! Put me down to rank 19? God damn it. Win five. Game stone your season chest. Well, I think that's exactly what we'll be doing here today. I haven't really been doing my quests, so let's. I don't like mage. Let's give that a reroll. Divine shield. Minions, huh? <coughs> well, we need to do we need to do at least a warm up game, right? So let's let's do a little warm up here with some death rattle rogue. We'll we'll just do a smidgen warm up and then we'll go from there. Looks like the queue time's pretty pretty hyped because it's March first, uh, first of the month. Ranked is always it's always nuts. So this is now the time to be playing ranked. So for any of those of you who well. I made a video, and I'll post it in the comments, about the uh, nerfs that they made. So I guess we can do a little bit of that discussion today, because I have some stuff to bitch and complain about. Because the majority of what, none of this stuff's really playable. Uh, the majority of what I got from the gist of the uh, nerf, and, well, Hall of Fame, not nerfs. No the difference, guys. Um, is that they wanted to make Hall of Fame picks for the non Ganon Baku cards about class identity. That was really the um that was really the whole gist of the whole thing. But what they removed was Divine Favor Naturalize in Doom Guard. Now Divine Favor, I'm not I'm not pissed at all that they are Hall of Faming that card. If anything that card is broken in such a sense and ironically it doesn't fit with the paladin class identity and i and i'll really say about that but it really it um what makes divine favor broken is that you are able to not be punished for completely just throwing up cards and i feel like and we'll get to the end of this rant in the video but um i feel like a lot of the nerfs that were made throughout the season were due in part because of you know gen and baku you know and, and I'll get to my talking points here eventually about all these nerfs. But what they got rid of was Doom Guard and Naturalize. Now, if you read the fucking article, the fucking, the, the most dumbest thing I've ever heard was that these Hall of Fames were made for, to keep class identity. Class identity. And they're like, well, Doom Guard doesn't really, and they talked about, well, they talked about Warlock being this mid-range deck. And I'm like, what fucking planet are you living on that, um... That Warlock is a mid-range deck. I mean, come on. You got Zulok. You got Zulok. You got you got Zulok and Q-Block, okay? The amount of mid-range viability with... Uh, um, with Warlock is... It's iffy. I mean, it's there, but it's not meta. But you're telling me you're gonna Hall of Fame Doom Guard. Because that's not class identity. I don't think I don't think mid range is warlock class identity. I don't think that's any class's identity except for maybe hunter. And maybe paladin. Maybe maybe paladin. But hunter hunter is the most mid rangey class out there. It doesn't sustain late game and early game. It's it's okay, but it really excels mid mid game. And they're telling you that that doom guard is not part of warlocks. Warlock's class identity. You know what is Warlock's class identity? Being punished. That's why you have all these... That's why it's fucking hero power is deal to damage, draw a card. Okay? That's why it's hero power... That's why half the cards deal damage to the hero. Okay? That's why half the time you're discarding cards. It's this... The class identity for Warlock is not mid-range. It's more so... <sighs> fuck it is more so this you deal damage to yourself you're punishing you played big minions i mean look at pit lord it's a deal five damage to yourself but you can cheese out a five five i think on either turn four or three i mean all the almost all the the evergreen cards for warlock 
or deal damage to yourself or discard something or do just something else. You know, and that's really what the entire Evergreen set for Warlock is. And they're saying that's, oh, that's not class identity. And, um, you know, they're saying that's not class identity. And I think that's just a bunch of, uh, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. The red ones taste like cherries, you say. Getting a little ahead of myself here. But, you know, that's the Doom Guard. And I don't think that's the right play. I don't think Hall of Faming Doom Guard is even impactful because the play rate on Doom Guard is so low. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, Hall of Fame Flaming Imp. That's I mean, that's such a shitty example because Warlock isn't fucking played. It's not Zulok. Doom Guard is not a broken card. You're discarding two cards for five damage. Leroy Jenkins is more broken than that. And you want to talk about class identity? Are you fucking kidding me? That's what this whole deck is? Just doing that? Uh oh. I don't like this. Because I have a bad feeling that he's going to, like, do something lame. Um, but what does I even say? Doomguard isn't, isn't that ideology. It's not that class identity that is, you know, warlock. It's, you know, you're punishing yourself. And then let's, let's talk over to, let's, uh, it's, it's going to be. The red ones taste like cherry. Do a little bit of that. Give me that. And you know, and then and then here's the ironic part. The whole part of the whole fucking talk was about class identity. Okay? And then and then they go to Druid. And that is the hypocrisy. And I think that's why I'm really pissed about these nerfs about Hearthstone. Is that back in December, you you the whole part of this Hall of Fame was class identity. But back in December, you completely butchered Druid. And in this conversation, they even talked about that Druid's card, uh, freaking identity was ramping and drawing cards. And then back in December, you took that away from them. And then you're going to destroy Naturalize? That doesn't make any sense. You're just taking the OTK fun, which is the only viable fun with Druid at this point. You're taking that out of the game. And, and, and really what pisses me off is they took Gen and Baku out because it didn't fit what they had planned in for the next season. Basically what happened, hear me out, Blizzard made an expansion that was too broken, more broken than Frozen Throne and Cobalts, and they were like, oh wait, no one's going to play the fucking new cards that we printed because these old ones are broken, so you know what, let's fucking get rid of it. You know, fuck Odd Paladin, fuck Odd Mage, you know, fuck Even Shaman, you know, fuck, fuck Mechathun, you know, fuck Odd Hunter, fuck all of that stuff that we invested our dust in the entire fucking year. You know, fuck all that. Nah, it's not going to work this season, so... Get it out of here. And that's just shitty planning. That's really just shitty planning. And it's just not... It's just... They just it's the biggest middle finger to the Hearthstone community that I've seen in, like, forever. Because when you look at other Hall of Fames, it's, there's nothing like this. You're just taking a mechanic that you introduced, people build dust around, and you're like, Oh, the new stuff we're gonna print, no one's gonna play. Why? Because it doesn't work? Okay, then. You know, it's just such a middle finger to the face. And it just... It's just, I feel disrespected. Well, not really, I don't feel disrespected. I know I've been disrespected. It's just... there. It's so hypocritical. It's so fucking hypocritical. You know, you talk about class identity, you completely destroy Druid. You know, and the only reason why I think they're really getting rid of Gen and Gen and Baku, and this is honestly my personal opinion, is because they tried nerfing Odd Paladin on five different occasions. Call to Arms, gone. Corridor Creeper, well, that was before that. Corridor Creeper's uh, Call to Arms, okay. You know, uh, what the fuck else did they nerf? I think it, uh, Level Up they got rid of. You know, two nerfs that were supposed to be hot fixes, they wasted on. I'm fucking, you know, they wasted an Odd Paladin, and it just didn't work. 
You know, it just didn't work. Just didn't work. And I think that's why they got rid of, get rid of Genom. That's why they want to get Baku out. And also, if you want to make the argument that, you know, developers didn't have their own rights to, you know, get rid of stuff that they don't think is going to be impactful, they printed these cards. Right? They printed these cards, and basically what they said is they got rid of them because what they were going to do for the Year of the Dragon, which starts in April, wasn't going to get, wasn't going it doesn't fit in line for what they were. And I really think this is because people bitched and complained so much about Rastakhan Rumble, and they see that the play rates for these cards that they spent, you know, a month when Ben Brode, a, a year back when Ben Brode was them, they weren't getting any play rates. No one... No one plays the spirits, no one plays the Loa. So they're like, well, if we keep the Witchwood set in, no one's going to play these cards because they're probably underpowered. Because this is probably like the whole, oh, we over-tempo creeped back and, you know, Cobalt and Frozen Throne. And then they're suddenly realizing, like, oh, no one's playing anything besides these same tier decks. You know? Maybe they're finally realizing, like, oh, we printed broken cards. Maybe that's why no one's fucking doing anything. I mean, it's just food for thought. You know, I think naturalize is completely out of order. I think the, f I think it's the doom guard. It's the whole post that they were like, oh, this is about class identity. And then what do they do? They turn right back around and, you know, they turn around and then they like, they go back on what they said. So then why did you nerf, you know, the ability to, you know, ramp with Druid? And then and this leads me to my biggest point here. I feel like if you're going to get rid of Gen and Baku, then fucking revert all the nerfs you've done for all the cards, okay? Like, <sighs> just just redo those nerfs. Undo the nerfs. The, the Spellstone nerfs. The Candle, the Death Hunter's Mark nerfs. The Call to Arms to nerf. The... The, all the nerfs that happened because of odd and even classes. I think it's complete bullshit that you're taking it out. I think you're. I think it's bullshit that you are taking like this frustration, this range, this design flaw out on the community and like handicapping cards that had no problem before you printed fucking Baku and Gen. That's the problem. It's Baku and Gen, and I don't. I don't talk about problems i don't hate hearthstone i enjoy hearthstone but when you have a continuity error that is just like a show fucking night and day you have a problem i didn't have i have a death rattle card on the fucking board god damn it i'm like throwing this game here i'm throwing this game I'm getting so mad. It's just a continuity error. I think it was just class identity because I talked about that. He's just playing Divine Shield Minions at this point. And, you know, and I talked about that in like the video that I posted. It was just, it's that they said class identity. Because what is class identity to you, Team 5? Because really, there is none. There is no class identity for you guys. I can't make any plays this turn. right there you know what like what really is class identity to you guys and i think what really ticked me off is that they called warlock a mid-range deck when has warlock ever been a mid-range deck it's either been balls to the wall aggro or you know q block are you saying that because you know they have all that board clear those hellfires are you saying the hellfires is what makes it mid-range because i don't think that's what it makes it mid-range buddy Okay. You know, I just don't think I don't think that's class identity. Because when I play Warlock, I don't think, oh man, I can't wait to win by turn six. Skull Minari, that's not a mid-range deck. Uh, Rin the First Disciple, oh, that's not mid-range. All the fucking cards that you've printed for the last three expansions, no. Last five expansions for Warlock aren't mid-range. You've given them nothing. There's nothing mid-rangey about. There's nothing mid-rangey about. About Warlock. Probably set up like this. 
And there's nothing mid rangey about Warlock. When I play Warlock, I think about how can I cheese out minions and demons, or how can I buff my hand, or how can I get an early game lead? You know, and we want to talk about class identity. What identities are we talking about here? Warrior doesn't have a class identity. It's 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 fatigue. That's the identity for Warlock. Druid is either ramp or long term. Uh, Warlock is long term, aggro or long term. Hunter is the only mid range class in this game. Only mid range class without combos. That's about it. About Hunter. About it, boys. Oh, that's not good. Glory to the Sonora. And we kind of just go like, boop, and you're dead. You know, and I think maybe that's the gist of my rant out, because it just was, it was just hypocritical. You know, because it, it's the Hall of Fame. That I think pisses me off. That the team five and Blizzard can just think like, oh, okay, get out of here. Doom Guard has like a five percent play rate. MC Tech has fucking fifteen. Leroy, thirty percent play rate. Last last fucking year, Hall of Fame, before the year of the Raven, you were like, well, cards that are overplayed too much are qualifications for you know Hall of Fame decks. Where's this qualification now? You're just Hall of Faming cards, so people don't. You, you Hall of Fame Genin Baku because no one would play your shitty expansions. And you fail to recognize that as a design error. You know, you fail to recognize that it's a design flaw. Ooh, Army of the Dead might be decent. I don't really know what I have left in my deck. Actually, a couple... A couple decent cards. Nothing too big. Actually, it would have been nice if these cards would have been able to, like, been cheesed out. I don't know. We might win this one. I might keep this video short. Just as a continuation of, um... I don't know what I was going to say. Because I was going to do, like, infographics and that kind of stuff. But it's just... <sighs> Blizzard, you say one thing and you do another. And I really don't seem... Ooh. Boom. I can understand why you nerfed again in Baku. But at the same time... Why'd you make such a dinky card? You know, like, why'd you do it? You knew what the problem was, but yet you still did it. And I know you probably couldn't have seen or seen Odd Paladin, but you don't address the problem then, because this this just came to mind. Wild still gotta deal with it. They still gotta deal with deal with Odd Paladin. They still gotta deal with all this bullshit. You know, that's what they gotta do. That's kind of lame. You know, that they gotta do that. That that they have to deal with this problem. Yeah, it just sucks. You know. Wow, that was really I like had all time at work to talk about you know, something like this. I just feel like it, w it just needed to be said it because I don't I don't see outrage, but it, it feels like those picks were just fucking weird. Unless you're gonna make something that's so overtly broken that you need to get rid of Doomguard and naturalize, then go ahead and do it. One Necrium Vial. I think I might have wasted it. That's not good. Boom. I mean, this guy's looking for something in his deck.
Yeah, so that's really all I have to say about the nurse. I just think it's... I think they phrased it as such like, oh, we have the Year of the Dragon coming in. We're getting rid of Gen and Baku. They didn't, it wasn't even because they were broken. They were just like, oh, we're getting rid of it because, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really correlate with the design plan that we have in store for next year. What? You can't do that. That's illegal. You just don't get to remove cards that you made because, oh, they didn't really fit the agenda. It's dumb. That's really dumb. See if we can get lethal on this druid here. Where's UI? I have no card left. Oh, is this OTK? This fucking fatigue. I don't know, they lost. Alright. There we go, finally. Jesus Christ, we got some gold. Alright, guys, this has been Dinner Friday News. Take care. Been talking about these nerfs. I got kind of pissed off. I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. It's just, it's these, it's like, I got time, right? I got some time left to this video. I want to keep you here all day, but we can just pull, I mean, I can pull up the article right now. I know I'm not a professional, you know. Hearthstone player or any of that shit, but like literally, I can pull it up right here, right now. Yeah, literally, it says right here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. It even says right here. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Watch, it says right here. It says right here. Baku and Gen are powerful cards that have been that have promoted new strategies since their introduction into the metagame. Those strategies have been more prevalent than we intended in standard, and we felt they might end up overshadowing what we're going to introduce in the Year of the Dragon. In order for set rotation to breathe new life into standard and maintain overall health of ladder, we're rotating Gen and Baku into the Hall of Fame. It's because it's going to overshadow what they're going to introduce. They're either going to introduce subpar shit or stuff that doesn't matter. If I don't see new if I don't see new mechs, if I don't see new mid-range cards, fuck the year of the dragon. You intro and if I don't see new overkill prints, I'm done. I'm not getting this salty. But if you want to make the if you're gonna make the claim that Genin Baku are gonna overshadow what you're introducing in the Year of the Dragon, you better have some revolutionary shit, buddies, buddies, because this is just ridiculous. Divine Shaver, I'm fine with Doom Guard. I mean, look at this. Well, we like the minion combat as much a part of the Warlock's identity as destructive knowledge. We want to acknowledge and embrace the class's weakness when they lose the board control. To the end, we want to limit the amount of damage Warlock can deal from their hand. A powerful charge minion Doom Guard pushes against the Warlock class identity. Yeah, they're powerful board control classes. Where are you getting mid range from, Jordan? That's what mid range is. It's board control, and then you finish the game mid game. Mid range. What do you mean? How does Doom Guard help with board control? It doesn't. Le you can make that the same argument for Leroy, so why aren't you getting rid of Leroy? Why, why aren't you making that argument for Leroy? I mean, we can even... I mean, let's let's go to card play rates here. I mean, we can even, like, look at this. I know this is really unprofessional to end, like, a video, but, like... What is it? Like, that's an epic... Filter. That passed Doom Guard. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, come on now. Did I really pass Doom Guard up? Or maybe I'm just... No, it's an epic. It's not a rare. Alright, other way around. It's a rare card. Sorry, guys, about that. Doom Guard, right here. Right? What's the play rate on this card? Huh? Oh, okay. <sighs> maybe I retract some of my statements, but... Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. 35% player. What the fuck? Who's running this card? <laughs> oh shit, I guess. I guess I kind of backtrack on that statement there. Holy crap. I didn't realize how many people were pissed off about this fucking card. But, I mean, this was back in... <laughs> the fuck? Last comment on this card was, like... <sighs> I mean, who's running this card in their deck? I guess, okay, so maybe the arguments are that viable. But, like, still, you're discarding two cards for a five mana with Rush. Now, if we look... I mean, if we make that same argument, you know... If you make that same argument, and we can look to the classic set here. Add filter, you know, we can do legendaries here, right? That's a 5 mana, 5, 7. Discard 2 cards, right? Okay. This is a 5 mana, 6, 2. You know, that's got a that's got 11% win rate, but that's, that's incredible. I mean, play rate. I mean, that's a, why wouldn't you run Leroy instead of Doomguard? Like, that's, that's a logical question there. Why? Because it's cheap, affordable, and it's part of the Evergreen set. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to leave this video here. Take care, guys.